Now think about what was the biggest thing that you saw today? Hmm. It's amazing what you can see when you just stop and think about it a minute. Sometimes when we hear a Bible story, we say, we've heard this story before, but when we listen really carefully to it, we might hear new things that we haven't heard before. Sometimes we see a picture of Jesus in our Bible story and say, we've seen Jesus so many times, there's not going to be anything new. But Jesus asks us to listen closely and maybe we will hear or see something new. Right now we're going to do our opening prayer and we're gonna do something fun. Earlier I said, Jesus said, smaller is bigger. So we're gonna to pretend to be very small seeds. You can curl up in the floor, you can curl up in your chair, and I want you to listen while we pray our opening prayer. Ready? Loving God, we are your little seeds in this world. You love us and care for us. Fill us up with your love so we can do big things for you. Be with us as we help each other and grow in your love for you. Amen. Well, now that you're a big seed or you've grown into something else, you can stand up and do a nice big stretch. Good job. As we get ready to move on to our story for today. So we talked about be humble. And that's an interesting word. Does anyone know what humble means? Think about that for a moment. Humble must be a very important word for Jesus because Jesus teaches us that God wants us to be humble. Humble means you don't think that you are more important than anyone else. You don't show off or try to be the center of attention. You're not pushy. You don't talk over someone else when they're talking, but instead you're gentle and respectful. And when you're humble, you are kind and you want to help everyone. So let's talk a little bit about our story today. And I'm going to show you the picture. I'd like you to really, really take a look at the picture today of being humble. See if we can get everybody in the picture. So I want you to look and see I want you to look at everybody's faces in this picture. Look at the faces of the people over here. Hmm. Interesting faces. And I want you to look at the faces of the people over here. And what are they doing? And in the middle, this is Jesus. Look at those faces. Now let's read a little bit about what's going on in this story. Jesus taught many important things to his followers. Your rabbis know a lot about Moses and the scriptures. Scriptures are where they wrote everything down. He said, listen to what the rabbis teach you, but don't act like them because they say one thing and they do another. I think these are the rabbis over here. Do you see their faces? They give you many rules to follow, but they never give you any help when you need it. They try to show off, and they love to be the center of attention at parties. At gatherings, they like the seats where everyone can see them. Don't follow their example. God doesn't want you to show off or try to be the center of attention. God just wants you to be humble, there's that word again, and kind and helpful. Learn from me. This is what will make you special. See, Jesus is talking to these people over here. 
And they look a little bit different than the rabbis over here. Interesting. I thought their faces looked differently. Did you see that too? Let's ask some questions about this story. Let's see what you can remember. Where did Jesus say that the rabbi sat at the gatherings? Hmm. Did you say they sat where everyone else could see them? You were right. What does that word humble mean? There's that word again. Does it mean don't show off or try to be the center of attention or think that you are better than others? You're right. Here's a thing to think about and you can talk to your family about. What does Jesus mean when he says smaller is bigger? Hmm. I wonder. I'm going to give you an activity to do today that will help you with how to be humble because it's hard to think about that all the time. How can we be humble? How can we be kind and helpful to others? Uh, parents and guardians, if you look at the art extra attachment to this email, you will find this activity there. This is where you can make secret scrolls. Woo, that sounds exciting. Here's what you'll need. A cardboard tube, just like the kind that you would find on the inside of your paper towel roll or in your toilet paper roll. That'll be a shorter one. Paper towel one will be longer. You'll need a piece of construction paper or other kinds of paper, um, something to write with, a pencil, and then something to decorate your scroll with, maybe some stickers or crayons or markers, whatever you'd like. Jesus said that it was important to serve God, and we learned that we can serve God by serving others. We can be helpful and kind. So on your piece of paper, I'd like you to write, I can serve God. And on that piece of paper, you can list all of the ways that you can serve God and be helpful and kind. Let's think of some things. Hmm. You could call a friend and say hello. You could help around the house. Maybe you have some chores and you can do chores. You could give a family member a hug. These are all wonderful ways to be helpful and kind. You can write down all your ways you want to be helpful and kind and put all of that information on your scroll. When you're done, you can decorate that tube any way you want to and then roll up your piece of paper and put it inside of your scroll. And anytime you want to remember how to be helpful and kind, just pull out that scroll and you're ready to go. A perfect way to help you remember how to be humble and help God. All right. Let's go to the end and where we can say our prayer. Thank you for joining me today. We found out some big news from Jesus, and one of the things he said was smaller is bigger. Jesus also says we should be humble. Today, I want you to think about all of the things that Jesus has told us. All prayers are big prayers to God, even if you are small. God hears all of them. Right now, I am going to say a prayer. But as you can see, 
I am speaking in a small voice. Even though I'm speaking in a small voice, you can still hear me because sometimes smaller is bigger. Here's what we're going to do. When I say let's pray, I want you to make a little cave with your hands like this. And when I say let's pray, I want you to whisper your prayer into your hands because small prayers can still be big. And then we'll end with all saying amen together. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Let's pray. Good job. Let's all say amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining me today. Remember, we have one video this week, and we will go back to two videos next week. It was great to join you today. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.